Long time we don't do a dear pasta in a pasta. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Welcome to Soulflow TV again, everybody. It's your host for the most. Watch me. I caught my friend and my husband. Mm, making clappy sounds with naked bodies. I saw. Now go right into this one. Dear Pastor, I am 27 years old and I am just under stress. Stress. I was pregnant with my second child, but I lost the baby. My husband and my best friend got into a relationship under my nose, Pastor. Under my nose. I don't love telling you no know, girlfriend them everything. That's why. I don't know, realize enough of the time. Your girlfriend or your, your home girl is actually seeking a way in. And sometimes some of the lives are nice. You know the woman them will have everything. Like them not have to worry about much. Don't have to batter eyelash much. Your girlfriend did it. She have to batter batter all up and down all over the place. She secretly want your lifestyle. And she said, I wonder if I can take that money for myself. I know everything you have to tell your girlfriend them. That me have to tell her no. Alright? Same thing for you man them, some of them chat too much And then your, your, your virgin start pre your wife after you did it, I tell her all you Me not tell nobody nothing We we'll go on in my house, is in my house And I say house car, we use the whole house Not just bedroom, but anyway I caught my girlfriend and my husband Going at it She does not live far from me One day I was on my way home and I saw her car In her drive, I saw her car in her driveway so I decided to stop just like I had done before her door was not locked so I knocked the door and then turned the knob and I went in only to see this girl riding my husband both of them partially undressed so how's he stop by for a quick him then but I take off all I'm close him does oops pull down this and bumps and pull that to the side and then I hungle him business. How they didn't hear when I came in, I don't know. I call out to them and she jump off. And he was there trying to mumble something to me which I did not understand. I just went away. There was nothing I have done. There was nothing I haven't done to help this girl. I have loaned her money. I have opened up my house to her. I have allowed her to stay with us when she did not have anywhere to live. I saw. I have allowed her to live with us when she did not have anywhere to live. Let me stop for a second and ask some of this. This goes for the men. As well as for the women men and women you live with your man or you live with your woman for the man them you have a virgin where need some place to stay till him get back on his feet are you moving him into your house with your wife no man you know you have to go deal with the whole you're going to work during the daytime and your virgin fell on hard times, so <laughs> fell on hard times. <laughs> your wife might fall upon him hard times. <laughs> anyway, yo, you're, you imagine, you know, you remember you, know, you have to deal with the whole, you are going to be a busy man because you work for a living, so you'll be away from the home more times, and he will be there at home unemployed <laughs> with your wife all day. Or there will be times when they will be home alone. Same thing, vice versa, same thing for the women, ladies. Are you the type of woman that if you have a girlfriend or a female friend um, and she'll go through some things, are you going to take her into your home to live there with your husband or your man? Leave it in the comment section below because me want to know if me, I see things different because I wouldn't do it. Me not bring no man coming to my house. Me not fat no fall for no mongoose. You understand? Alright. So, I called out to them and she jumped off. And she, <laughs> he was trying, come off of me so, and he was trying, he was trying mumble, baby, it's not what you think it is, it's not what it looks like, your eyes are playing tricks on you, duh, 
You did not see me. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to sit. All that time, I did not have a clue, she said. I'll put her up when she never have known if you live. All that time, I didn't have a clue that she had eyes on my husband. Well, darling, dear, apparently, your husband had eyes on her too. You understand? Because if you notice, I over fear you had him find himself, you know. It wasn't like she come check you or she was staying there at your house and had nowhere to live and one thing led to another. It was over fear house. Him carry himself go. So that mean he had eyes for her also. Right? She probably tried to take away a man too because she says a good man. There was nothing I haven't done to help this girl. Right now, she has six hundred she had sixty thousand dollars for me. A good friend. My husband doesn't even know that she owes me. You me trust me, your husband no. I'm over there, I work it off. <laughs> right now, she has $60,000 for me. My husband doesn't even know that she owes me. I asked my husband what he was doing there. And he said that she had a problem with plumbing and she called him. So, <laughs> so he told her to pick him up and he would fix it and go back to work. She had a problem with plumbing. How am I though? Knock off the cobwebs and clear the drain. Okay. Yes, Ozzy. He said that I should not blame her and that I shouldn't allow what happened to break up our friendship because he was the one who approached her for sex. Mm. I asked him, what is wrong with me? And he said nothing, but Satan took a hold of him. I <laughs> that rotted Satan is a man. Satan! Blood fire. The amount of blame where Satan get. But Satan took a hold of him. I told my friend she should never, ever come back to my house. My girl shouldn't mind not coming back to your house because your man is now going to her house. <laughs> Hi! Oh, it's up. All right, so I asked him what was wrong with me. He said nothing. The girl and I even got to the same church. Every time I see her in church, I think of her as a big hypocrite, and I just hate her. She tried to talk to me in church, but I walked away from her. But I still love my husband, Pastor. We have people who spend Christmas with us, and she was one of them. I don't know if I could allow her to come in this year though. My husband says that I should because she is not to be blamed for what happened. I have tried to hate my husband but I just can't. I hate my friend instead. What do you think of me, pastor? <laughs> Listen up. You see that husband there sampling up. You know what husband say? Don't break up with our babes. Don't break up with our. Keep her as a friend. I remember said the whole always spend Christmas together every year in our house and even though you're thinking of not ever having her come back to the house again I think you know it wasn't her it was my fault so you should bring her back to the <laughs> to the house again so I'm like cause you have a plan man me uh as it, it sounds like this husband has a plan me, me lie am I telling lies so your pastor him now pastor said your husband has asked you to forgive him, but I know it would be hard for you to do, so he told you that he was the aggressor. You have had this woman living in your house, and you had been good to her. Perhaps while living there, they admired each other, but perhaps nothing went on between the both of them then. That story about the plumbing could have been an excuse for him to go to her house, you know. She lured him over there then. Your husband has been very careless, but you hate this woman because you believe that she could have said no to your husband. You say that you don't hate your husband, but you hate this woman, so you have to deal with that yourself. You have not said whether this woman has asked you to forgive her or not, but whether she has or not, you need to do so. It is not something that you are going to forget because you saw them in the act, actually. 
I wouldn't encourage you to invite her to your house for Christmas though. That incident is just too fresh in your mind. It is better for you to send our dinner with someone who doesn't know anything about the problem between the both of you. But keep her away from your house this year. She, she might feel rejected, but she needs to feel that way for what she had done. But don't hate her, Pastor said. Hear them six comments you now. Sometimes I wonder if a robot will reply to these things. That's, that's the best advice you can give, Pastor. Send her dinner instead of inviting her over. I bet all my life savings that this wasn't the first time that she and the husband did it do them something there. And him still a dig it out even now. <laughs> Yo, T Bull says, seriously, dinner? How kind of advice that? Keep this woman as far away from your house as possible. Your husband cannot be trusted neither. Neither can she. Don't let her come to your house again ever. Nasty. Fit Nasty says, Mac Nasty says, Hobby was doing some plumbing alright. Plugging out the essential holes. <laughs> Shy. Westbo the poet said she had a problem with the plumbing and she called him. So he told her to pick him up and he would fix it and go back to work. Plumbing problems. Hubby is a jack of all trades man. And on top of it all, they got, <laughs> they got caught red handed. Squashy said, You don't have a solid man or a husband. And you also have a deceiver for a friend. What I can't understand is why you have to play nice with the devil. She betrayed you. So, don't let your husband or no church people force you to make nice. I would send her dinner, but she wouldn't like it. Stay far from them people there who do not respect you. Obviously, you won't walk away from this flake of a husband that you have because, but I guess, that's your choice. Final comment says, So at any time at all in your life, you have never heard about friends Friends stealing each other men. Wake up, woman. The very people you assist are the ones that will throw you under the bus. Or better yet, a moving train. In other words then, me not make nobody come stay in my yard. I'm sorry for your luck, you're down. If I have a few dollars, I can help you to get somewhere to stay. But you can't stay in my house. And is it a matter of people are going to say, Yeah, because you don't trust your wife. That's why you wouldn't make man stay in your house here. What? You see, when you have the mangoes in a cage, and when you have the chicken in the chicken house, and it well pen up on everything, the chickens are safe. If you put the mangoes in the chicken house, you ask a problem. You can't ball when the mangoes near two chicken. Understand what I'm saying? In other words, then, I'm not inviting no trouble into my house. I'm not inviting no extra temptation into my house. I'm not expecting my wife to ever say yes to doing the same. I hope she watched this video. I leave her comment in her comment section below so you can understand. You know what I'm saying? Would you leave your comments in the comment section below? So Flow TV, <laughs> have a good laugh. The plumbing. I should probably write him like wifey never did. My God. I'm out. <laughs> Peace.